<laughs> welcome back to another episode of sink swim or be the captain the show where i elvis Salta, help you to become the captain of your life Today on Things We Might Be the Captain, you see me look like one college recruiter in my jacket and my lipstick and things. <laughs> Today I'm talking to you about an important topic. It is important to me. It is one of the driving influences behind this channel. And I am excited to talk to you about it today. But disclaimer, I'm not a representative of these people. You can always find information of, on their website. I am just here to talk about my experience and to help you uh, understand this thing and also uh, be knowledgeable about it before you go, before you, you take it. So this afternoon, I want to talk to you about my relationship with student loan but before we get into that if you're new to my channel welcome this show is called things we Already captain a self-help show where i help you to become the captain of your life the director take control that's all i'm saying it's captain that take orders from nobody but himself so if you, <laughs> i help you to become in control of your life so one of the things that I am passionate about is a student loan and if you have my number on whatsapp you'll see me talking about them all the time on student loan now what is student loan so student loan is a financial assistant that students take to attend tertiary institution so it's money borrowed to finance your tertiary education it's because <laughs> no no we don't have enough money to pay for um a tertiary education maybe like get a degree if you be a doctor a lawyer whatever you don't have all of the money so you have to borrow it and right now as we're speaking the student loan bureau in jamaica is celebrating 50 years happy birthday Thank you for 50 long years of service and I hope you'll continue to serve this community so we can have uh, more nation builders. Although, you know, really have got college to be a nation, nation builder, but that's another thing. Let's go. So student loan is money that you borrow to finance your education. In Jamaica, there's a student loan bureau. No how do you how, how do you when do you apply for a student loan when a few months before you go to college so after you've applied for university and if you're watching the universities in the universities in jamaica are northern caribbean university um caribbean maritime institute university they're in university now uwi university of the west indies university of technology ucc and i think those are the main ones and vtdi there's vtdi does student loan finance vtdi i'm not sure i can verify anyways those are the colleges so you want to go to college and you don't have the money you can go to a student loan so you apply for student loan uh, a few months before you enter university like me so i'm shooting this i'm shooting this and i think student loan for, for september is open so you take it a few months before anyways some people are scared of 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 student loan because of their history and because of the repayment I think that if you spend the time to understand the system that you won't be afraid of the system because that's what catch some people they are so young and naive they sign a contract without understanding the requirements and the obligation and the payback method method with the, the thing so they find themselves sinking in debt 
sinking in debt and blaming the policies of the bureau for being unfair unreasonable i'm not here to bash anybody i'm just here to I'm not here to bash any of the borrowers and i'm not here to bash the lender i'm here to talk about my experience so at first i didn't i didn't want it i didn't want to take it but i had no choice because i wasn't born with born with gold spoon in my mouth <laughs> we never have enough money to finance my education and i chose to go to ncu which cost a few more money than <laughs> the other universities so um i had to i had to take student loan so i took student loan for um i took student loan for two years right the thing about it now i think i'm more student loan now you take this money you go to school and then when you are finished you have to repay the money now student loan is re it, um just like any loan any other loan you have an interest rate and the interest rate is 9.5 percent no so <laughs> i took the loan for two years and i am determined to pay off this loan because if you're going to direct your life if you're going to be the captain of your life you have to take charge of your finances i'm not clo i'm not close i'm not close to taking charge of my finances but i understand that i need to take charge of my finances so one of the main step in taking charge of your finance is coming out of debt coming out of debt and most young professional most of them i don't know the percentage so i have to say most most young professional have a student loan that they are repaying all right so i was so i was I, I didn't want it at first then i got it for two years after i finished when my two years finished i i wasn't uh in a position to repay the loan as yet so what affected me when you're when you're not in a position to pay the loan when you're not paying the loan then you end up in something called arrears this is where you owe your month the monthly payments that you should be paying you owe you owe that plus added interest so you could have borrowed ten dollar and because you're in the arrears you gone up to one thousand that you owe and that's what's happening to a lot of persons they're not be they're not working they're not working so they are unable to repay the loan they're unable to repay the loan and the loan is there acquiring more money more money more money and they're in arrears so our arrears is the payment that you would have made added interest and student loan also charges you a late fee of 750 dollars now here is what helped me i had read the repayment plan i had understood the repayment plan so i was aware of what to expect when I was when it was time to repay my loan so when it when I was able to start paying my loan I was already in I was already in seven months worth of arrears because I was I was I should have started paying in April, in January and I couldn't I was unable to I just couldn't and then I started paying it in started paying it in July anyway I still don't know let me tell a story now don't calculate my art don't calculate my arrears my $750 included because I had read the form so the key thing here if you don't remember anything is to read the forms understand your loans and understand your repayment options all right now some people go up there and say uh every salta i would like to and every salta i'd like to clear my arrears the lady gave me one number that i know that wasn't correct it was less than what i had calculated and i said no miss that's not um the what i should pay it's more than that she said oh i didn't know that you wanted to include this month i'm saying miss why would i come up here and ask you to give me um my arrears balance and you don't include this month payment uh 
you want me to walk all the not even walk to leave all the way from this parish to come to the to, to, to the capital Kingston you don't have any in there there that before this this <coughs> at this point they didn't they didn't have any option for you to pay to the principal online but because of covid no they now they do so i i i, I said miss yeah my one what the full price anyway she told me and i cleared my arrears i cleared my arrears and then what i i'm still in debt but i have plans to get out i have plans to get out and one of this one of my i'm trying to get out by establishing other sources of income and one of that one of which includes creating content online so if you want to help me if you want to help me with to, to make this dream materialize you should please consider subscribing liking this video and share anyways cleared up the arrears and i started paying they give you a schedule listen to me let me tell you something about student loan student loan give gave me 13 years to repay a loan 13 years 13 years all right a loan that i took when i was 18 they're about 18 they're giving me 13 years to repay it 13 years is all of my youth 13 years is all of what i is the years that i should be using to build myself my career and my family to acquire assets and i should sit 13 years in debt no 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 i should sit 13 years in debt no not elvis Alto not elvis Alto. so i am on a quest <laughs> to repay my loan before 13 years all my energy is all my energy right now is going towards the loan anyways what i'm what am i what am i doing to um achieve that goal what i do is and this is what and this is not an advice this is not a financial advice i can only tell you what i do so what I do is I make my regular payments, my regular payments, my regular monthly payments, and then occasionally I put a, 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 um, a payment on the principal because it's calculated on a reducing, reduce, the reducing balance on the principal. So if you carry down the principal, if you carry down the principal, the interest also is gonna go down i think so i make my regular payments and every now and then i go in and i make a principal payment uh principal payment varies can be whatever 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 i had some ideas so no i am not against student loan i am i actually like the institution what i do i think the they should do more in customer service than just distributing the loan they should do more in customer service than just the distribution of loans they should attempt to educate before you before you apply for this loan i think you should go through a seminar not just give it the, pam the pamphlet because people get the pamphlet persons can read and then they probably not even understand but provide provide necessary guidance before the persons take the loan so they don't have this resentment towards the institution after because i based on conversation with other persons there's this res, there's this negative resentment for the institution and the institution is doing god's work a lot of students could have never gotten a degree without um students loan assistance student loan a long time when I don't give no amnesty. When I can't give the regular people them amnesty. Although I'm appreciative of my 2%. I guess I currently they're giving some 2% discount and I'm in the batch because my account was in a good standing. What am I saying? I don't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying some students could have never at, um um achieved their tertiary education without student loan and they should provide more customer service other than just distributing the money 
the reimbursing the money also i had some ideas for student loan as well i was thinking right i that student loan should open regional offices so instead of the main office just being in kingston and if you want to talk to somebody you have to leave all the way from trelawney all the way from maypen and go to kingston i think they should open regional offices one in central jamaica one in east jamaica one in west jamaica and i can go to central jamaica because i'm living in clarendon also i also think that um they could do a mobile bus a mobile bus where them go for, for a whole week them go to clarendon so the mobile bus come to Canada. This mobile bus you can either drop off your documents, drop off your documents, or pay your pay your fee, pay your 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 your, your make a payment. The bus would be set up in a one way that the bus would be refurbished in a way that you have two printers, two computers, and a point of sale machine in there. So you're not accept cash. You just swipe the card. And you, and you pay. I think that's a good idea. I think, me don't know nothing about this. I'm just saying, my pea brain thinks that that's, a, that's an idea. What about a student loan app? I need a student loan app. I've been asking on social media for a student loan app. I think student loans should have an app where I can see my balance, I can see my payments, I can see where the interest is calculated, I can, I can service my account through. Yeah, student loan, why you not have an app? Why I don't have an app? I mean, can easy well just pay with my Visa card through the app. I know you're going to tell me that I can pay online through blah, 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 blah. I want an app specific for you, student loan. I don't know if they're going to see this video, but I'm just talking. What else? I had some other points but I, I i did not write them down and i'm losing it <laughs> so yes student, student loan bureau is a financial institution that gives out loans to finance uh, tertiary education they have been around for 50 years uh you apply online you apply a few months before you go in read what you are signing to read what you are signing to read the repayment plan the repayment option understand how they calculate the 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 interest the interest rate understand that understand the the neglect the um delinquent policies if you are late you attract a fee of 750 if you are in arrears blah 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 understand your loan understand what you are signing to understand that what you are taking and understand that if these person follow suit to give you their money you should follow suit and repay the money that was lent to you so they so other jamaicans other young jamaicans can benefit from this same things but um other than student loan you don't have to take student loan you can look for scholarships and that would be another episode of sing with my Ready captain maybe not this season but i should do an episode on scholarships so thank you for watching sing with my Ready captain the show where we help you to become the captain of your life take charge of your life today thank you for watching Another episode of Sink, Swim, or Baby Cat Bye.